A temporal storm is approaching and uh, I'm not really happy with uh, the design of my own uh, temporal shelter. And by the way, it's a little bit uh, too far away from here. So I decided to try a new design exactly here on the mountain. I've seen this design uh, on a video of uh, Mac Big Eyes uh, Keys and I want to give it a try. I'm going to place a door here, exactly, yeah, then I want to remove here this uh, part, I'm gonna place uh, some of these here, so this design works uh, by taking advantage of uh, the um, tendency of the drifters to follow the path of less resistance as defined by Mac Big Eyes Keys. So I'm gonna give it a try. I already tried a little bit in creative. It looks like it can work. This is where the drifters are gonna fall and get trapped. Then I want to go a little bit on this direction and have a little bit of room, yes, I'm far away enough, and here we should go up to meet the door that I just placed. I need to place, of course, some ladder, we go up here, yeah. So here we are gonna place a fire where the drifters are gonna get cooked. Then I take back these. I want to do like that. And this should prevent the drifters from spawning because it looks like it's working. I want to put here some glass. And here we can place two blocks. No. One block and this. So we can reach that and we should be safe enough here. Now, here I want to go like that. This is wrong. Another one. I'm going to place one door here. Okay, and I want uh, one door here, no. Here. So if we need, we can get uh, over here and uh, collect uh, the loot. I need to place one, two, and three trapdoors. Then, from here, if I'm not mistaken, a little bit lower. Yeah, this should be perfect. Gonna place this block and another block like this.
want another stairs, and then I go up. Another one like this. Another two here, like that. And I want to go down another one. Go like that. And let's see if I can... Yeah, I can go out this way. want to cover that so uh, the drifters don't um, fall on top of my head. And I'm gonna start making this. And enclose myself. So um, I can attract the drifters and they should try to reach me and to fall down there. I'm gonna place another trap door here. Need one, two, and three. And that's it. That should be it. I want to place another trap door. I should have another one here. Like that. And here we go. This should be the new trap, and it should work. I'm gonna take a nap. In the house we have enough uh, warmth to sleep and resist uh, the low temperature. I am seeing here that we are almost there. So, I think that uh, it's time to go and take a look and see if it works. Let me check if it's everything fine. Yeah, yeah, everything is working. Is it mean? And okay, so let me go and um, start some fire here. We'll also throw in some more. There. Here we go. Here we go. Look at them. Plenty of them. Okay, let's go downstairs and see what happens. Oh yeah, the, it's working. I try to give a hand here. Ooh, a double-headed. Nice. Well, it looks um, interesting. It's an interesting concept. Probably the fire is not uh, making that much damage to them. But it's definitely killing them slowly. It's a great uh, help. Let's try to kill that one. Because if I can 
make my hands on that one. Okay, the, um, the double-headed is uh, dead. So let's try to... Oh, one is here. Nice. Okay. Oh. You know what? I have the double added. I'm gonna go and close. Yeah. Ooh, some parts. Uh, not all reachable. But from here, it's working. Nice. I'm gonna place two temporal gears here. So, in case I die, I have them. Nice. I want to go and take a look what's going on. Oh, look who we have. The Lord of the Storm. Nice. They are not spawning any longer. Okay, it's waning. I think that we are not gonna get uh, anything more than this, what we already get, but uh, it's uh, already better than uh, what I was used to get uh, in um, with the other storm. So I'm pretty fine with that. Ooh. Oh, another one. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Let's say that the fire pit somehow make me harder to get them. So we can take off this, put it here. Uh, we don't need this any longer. I can say that uh, it's been a successful um, test for me. Look at that. We have three temporal gears and uh, six uh, rusty gears. And also a Jonas part. Very good. Uh, I got only one double-headed that I've seen. Let me check here. There is nothing uh, left. We can close everything so the animals don't fall down. I want... Uh, yeah, these I wanted. So, since I, ha I want to improve uh, a little bit the design, I think that uh, this uh, is gonna be a good idea to have this 
so not even the crawling uh, drifters can get in or spawn on this block. I can easily reach all of the trap doors. I can close them. Yeah, I think that uh, it's uh, pretty much it. I've forgotten to record a part of my talking <laughs> and I already started with my uh, working. So, I am down uh, under the base and here is where I found the team in the last episode. So, I started prospecting and I've seen that there is some magnetite. A little bit here, a little bit more here, if you can uh, see. And uh, it's getting better. And since I'm here and there is decent uh, possibility of magnetite and I don't want to go any further because I constantly hear walls over there. So I'm gonna try to uh, dig down here and uh, make my usual vertical tunnel with the prospecting and uh, see if I can get uh, uh, some magnetite. That would be great because it will be a, um, a great boost in uh, the technology. So I'm gonna dig and make uh, some prospecting every uh, six, uh, 12 um, blocks. And as you can see, I already found traces of uh, cassiterite because this mountain is pretty rich in um, tin. And um, there is also this uh, suggestion that I really, really like uh, by Solstein, who suggested to call this mountain Tin Peaks. That's really, really a nice idea. So I think I'm gonna stick with it. Let me know in the comments what do you think, if you have uh, some um, alternatives, uh, uh, or if you think that this is a good idea. So, medium amounts. Uh, let's uh, see. So, this is medium amounts. I'm gonna make uh, a little marker. Because I want to see if I go a little bit further down, if it increases or decreases. So, it decreases. It's um, This should mean that we are here in the right uh, point. So, the next step is to see if uh, it's increasing in that direction. No, it's uh, there is known there, so it means it's not there. Could be in any of the other three cardinal directions. So, let's try this way. Uh, this is trace, and there is medium, so it could be probably, or better, where I am is medium. And there is still medium, so this is a good uh, direction, I think, because over there it doesn't read. Here it reads less, so it looks like it's in that direction. Let's try to go there and see what uh, we can find. Hmm, no ore there. Okay. Well, to be honest, could be also below. Yeah, I think it's below me. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> we found it, we found it. What do we have? Medium quality, not bad. I'm not gonna complain about this. Some small amounts again. Hmm, is it worth for small amounts? Um, I'm not sure, I don't think so. No, it's fine like that. 
I'm gonna um, leave whatever it is. And uh, yeah, so let me close this. And I wanna keep on with uh, my exploration here. Well, not bad. We have uh, 14 medium chunks of cassiterite. By the way, you know what I want to do? Uh, let me go in here. That uh, put in all of these, that one and that. I'm gonna be good for the, with that. Hey. Okay. If we find magnetite, usually uh, magnetite is, uh, oh, we have quartz, is uh, very, very deep. So usually it's um, around uh, 15, 10 um, uh, blocks uh, on this uh, axis, on the Z axis, this one. So we still have uh, a bit to go. Bismuthine. Some bismuth. Trace. It increases. Small, yeah. So, small is gonna be here. Let's see where it is. Small, also cassiterite, small amount. Okay, but the bismuth didn't increase, so nothing. Small amount hmm. is here around. You know what? I want to go the whole way down and see what we can find. And then I'm gonna get back. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ah, no, no, no. It looked like uh, bismuth. Ooh, this is salt better. Okay. Let me take this. Okay, we have a cave. Nice. And not really happy to leave this opening here. Let's do like that. It's not perfect, but it's what uh, I can uh, get. Okay, let's keep on digging. Some more bismuth. Holy vine. Great. Olivine is good to have. This place is uh, full with olivine. We are in a peridotite uh, place, and of course we are gonna be full with uh, olivine. And as soon as I talked about the peridotite, uh, of course uh, it changed in andesite. <laughs> I don't even know if I have enough uh, ladders to reach the bottom. Yeah, probably I have. Just the bare minimum. 
no ore. So I think that we will find nothing. Because uh, often it's like that. Uh, when I start prospecting and searching, you know, for iron, I consume and throw away load of uh, ladders. And ooh, instead we found it. Uh, magnetite medium amounts. Medium amounts, yeah, we have it. So, what do we have here? Medium. Um, it's here close by, I think, you know? Large is in that direction. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Look at that. Uh, what do we have here? Reach. Very good. So, um, we found some uh, magnetite. So happy. Um, yeah, that's all. No, here we go. But here we have to come back with uh, something, because um, I don't want to get uh, invaded by spawning uh, drifters, you know, nightmares and stuff like that. Yeah, here is Sars. Okay. So, let's do like that. Uh, 11 chunks. And the temporal stability is spinning. Um, yeah, well, I want to go and take a look. Yeah, we have... We have it. Yeah, okay, this is the the vein. Okay. I think we are good to to get back later. I cannot stop. This is really, really terrible for me, because uh, I am afraid that uh, some drifters uh, is gonna spawn. Yeah, exactly. So it's time to get back. I am curious to see how much I can get out of this. Because this looks like being a lot. Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. We have six ingots. Uh, and, um, yeah, uh, 11 ingots, let's say. So, I could make my first batch, but I don't know if I have uh, enough. No, I don't have any fire bricks. I don't have any fire bricks. I should make them. No, I have some, but uh, they are not enough. So, I should make some fire bricks, and then go on from there, because, uh, yeah, of course, um, I need them. I'm gonna place it here, because I want to expand there anyways. So... Yeah. First of all, drop that. Okay. Um, I need more crates. Give me that and uh, let's make some crates. One, two, at least. Place one here and one here for now. Yeah. Yeah. 
place this. Okay. Perfect. And I need that. I'm gonna take back this and bring it with me because often I forget it. Um, <clears throat> throw in that. Oh, let's see how much. Um, so I should have more. Yes. Okay. Oh, cassette right, I don't have here. Can go with that. Give me this. It's a bit of a mess, I know. <laughs> uh, my inventory, I mean, is a, a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna place... Um, let me see here, probably. I can place that. This one here and this one here. Just to... To be... <laughs> to increase the mass. <laughs> um, okay. Do I have more pit? No. So I'm gonna take the pit from here, because uh, I don't think I need it here. Another 28, not bad. We have some cassiterite now. We have plenty of cassiterite. Galena, and I think that I'm gonna use also this one. And we have a tin ingot. Wow, what a mess. <laughs> okay, give me some sticks that I know that I have here. So we can start uh, this thing immediately. Perfect. So, finally we found also some iron, and I cannot process it now because I don't have enough uh, fire clay bricks, so I'm gonna cook some of them, and uh, I think that this is material for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you the next time, since then have a nice one, take care.